Hello guys, with this tutorial I'm going to talk about Firebase Cloud function. Uh, actually there are two versions for this framework, the version 1 and version 2. Second version is the latest one and there are a few uh, tutorials already in uh, online for version 1 and I couldn't find any specific tutorials for version 2 that's why I make this uh, tutorials. So with this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a cloud function, uh, how to create a Firebase cloud function and how to use that function to uh, change data in your database and how to get data and how to trigger a function and how to uh, schedule a function. So let me show you these are the topics I'm gonna talk about. I'm going to show you from the very beginning uh, from creating a, a Firebase project to schedule a cloud function. Okay, so all the points um, will cover from this tutorial session. So this is not going to be a one video. This can be several videos. All right, without a further ado, let's get into the video. All right, you should have a Firebase installed in your computer. So for do that before you should have uh, node.js installed in your pc so you can download node.js from this website and you can download the uh, your specific version uh, according to your os i'm going to download the windows uh, version and it is a typical setup just download it and you can install it and after you install it you can check it whether the uh, setup has installed or not just type in your command prompt npm and press enter and if you can see uh, these um, uh, things in your command prompt these codes in your command prompt that means you have in successfully installed the npm all right now you can create a new uh, Firebase project or if you already have created a Firebase project you can skip this part so in this step I'm going to show you how to create a new Firebase project all right I'm in the console Firebase console and there are a few Firebase project ongoing uh, in my console I'm going to add the project uh, let's say cloud function test all right and uh, I can enable analytics but I'm gonna disable it for now because uh, I'm not gonna talk about that and uh, it can be it can take some time to create when you enable that uh, option but it is actually a good thing if you enable the uh, Google Analytics so you can test out your project with the, uh, that uh, analytical tools. All right, uh, project is ready. I'm going to continue. All right, so there are three categories. Uh, I'm just gonna select let's say real-time database all right uh, right for you let's say yes I'm gonna create a database I want uh, to create real-time database because I want to check uh, whether I can manage real-time database values with cloud uh, functions right hit next let's start in test mode test mode otherwise i can't do anything uh, with the database all right now it is created uh let's add a few nodes let's see users 
and user one i'm going to check whether my database is working or not let's say name uh, a and another thing age is let's say 20. all right now the database is uh, working all right now uh, expand this build section here and go to functions and uh, this is where you can see all the functions that you have deployed into your server as a list uh, to use function upgrade your project billing plan okay uh, now my plan is spark that means this is the free version so I have to upgrade my billing plan to blaze version so I'm gonna hit upgrade project and uh, pay as you go so that means um, the billing uh, amount will be calculated as according to the function that I'm doing with the project uh, let's see uh, kw continue um i will skip this part purchase all right now my um billing plan is upgraded all right now i can get it started there are some instructions on how to uh, implement Firebase into a computer. So I'm going to copy this uh, um, code. So this is uh, actually an NPM code. So you should install Node.js. You can also find the instruction in here how to install Node.js. All right, I'm going to copy this uh, code. To be honest, actually, I have already installed firebase so i'm going to skip this part all right i'm going to skip this part i have already installed it but if you are a new user you have to install firebase using this um uh, code all right all right next uh after you have created your project you have to initialize your project into your computer so you can use this um code line to use that I'm gonna copy that I don't need the uh, dollar sign firebase in it but before that you have to create a specific folder in your computer all right I have created a new folder now I can use this folder to create my project uh, actually to initialize my project into my computer I can press shift and right click to open terminal from here now the terminal path is in this folder all right so you have already installed firebase you can check if you have correctly installed the firebase or not by using this command so if you can see these things uh, that means you have already uh, you have successfully installed the firebase all right now i'm going to clear this first thing you need to do is to log in to your firebase console account i'm going to use firebase login uh, command to log into my firebase account all right so it says already logged in as uh, this is my email so you should use your gmail that you have used to create your firebase console to log into your firebase uh, console all right all right then you can say firebase init so this command you can use to initialize your project all right so i'm ready to proceed yes so it first ask me um that if i am sure with my location with my directory so this is a new folder so i am sure all right then i have some suggestions i have some choices to what are the frameworks that i should implement with my project um i'm gonna implement uh, functions all right cloud functions select that press space 
hit enter all right now i can use an existing project or create a new project so i have already created a project i can use use an existing project option and i can see some of the project uh, so i have created this cloud function test project now i'm gonna select that one all right so now let's wait some time to finish it up all right now it asks me that what is the language that i'm gonna use to write cloud functions so there are three options with the latest option you can use actually the python language but i'm not going to choose that one for now i'm going to choose the javascript one do you want to use uh is yes link to catch uh probable bugs and enforce style yes definitely uh, it will be a help for you to understand the errors in your code then do you want to install dependencies with npm in uh, yes all right now wait a few minutes to uh, finish this setup all right after this process is done uh, if it went successfully you can see this message firebase initialization complete and when you go to the folder you can see some of the file uh, has been created there are a few uh, files and you can see a folder i'm going to open that folder and in that folder you can see this index.js file uh, this is a javascript file i'm going to open it and when you open it you can see some of the code lines um so i'm going to uncomment this section right here and actually this is a cloud function this is a example cloud function called hello world and it has some of the function assigning as on request and it has two parameter variables request response and it has a um, logger line and second it has a, a response dot send line so i'm going to uh, save this file after uncommenting control less save um, first uh, let me make some changes um, i would say uh, i'm gonna put an h1 tag in here okay you can actually type html in this uh, send method parameter all right so request mean that you are sending a request from your browser to web server in this case to the firebase server and the response mean that the response that you are getting from the firebase uh, server so according to this code line firebase is sending us this text and you should be able to see this in your web browser all right so i'm gonna save this code and i'm going to the powershell now i'm gonna deploy this function but before that i'm going to my firebase uh, console fu function section let's see get started continue finish so as you can see um waiting for your first deploy so i haven't deployed any functions so i'm going to deploy my first function just type firebase deploy all right and wait a few minutes all right i got some errors so uh, i actually got four errors uh, luckily we have used eslint because of that we are getting our errors with more clear reasons so in the first error it says at the line number 16 in the first column expected indentation of zero spaces but found one so it says in the line number 16 actually you can see there is any space at the beginning so 
it expected zero spaces it uh, actually it is kind of silly uh, I'm getting an error for any space but it's fine I'm gonna clear that space and again number 17 18 19 uh, 17 uh, number 17 two space, spaces for sorry uh, expect two spaces and in 18 2 and in 0 all right so my lump 9 number 19 0 space and this should have 2 this also should have 2 I'm gonna save this I'm gonna clear all this again firebase deploy all right as you can see um, my um, cloud function is successfully uh, uploaded deployed into my web server but before that I have tried once actually um, I got an error it says uh, invalid value specification for CPU and it said that uh, something in here all right in here your project may gain access to further scaling by adding billing information to your account so for the f uh, the reason for this error is that I have um, enable a wrong billing account with my project so I had to change the billing account billing account to uh, make this work so I changed my project billing account and I could successfully up uh, deploy my uh, function if you got this error uh, just put a comment and I will guide you how to solve this issue all right so my function is now uh, uploaded deployed correctly and you can see uh, there is a function URL I'm gonna copy this URL why I can just uh, click it by pressing control control and you can see in my URL it says hello from firebase so I'm getting this value from the firebase database okay as you can see I have said uh, I should get a response from firebase and the response should be hello from firebase so let me change this value let's say it's working all right and save the code again go to console uh, co terminal and I'm gonna clear this again I'm going to deploy this all right let's see again uh, how our function is working I'm gonna refresh this link and it says it is working so now as you can see my cloud function is successfully deployed and it is working so I'm going to stop now uh, and for this video and in the next video I'm going to show you how to manage your database values using cloud function thank you